good morning to all of you i would like to welcome you all for this workshop this free certified workshop on computer vision ai based live face mask detector in this workshop what we are going to do we are going to detect the face mask okay first of all i would like to welcome you all for this certified workshop ai based live face mask detector Guys, can you please confirm me in the chat window? Am I audible, clear, and loud, so that we can start the workshop? Okay. Meanwhile, we are waiting for the other participants also, and you guys can confirm me in the chat window. Okay. Am I audible? okay i think i'm audible clear and loud so now we can start the session in this session we are going to cover like we will start from very basic we are going to start from the open cv first of all we are going to see what is the open cv and what is the images and how does the images work and how all these things we are going to work okay so Before I am going to start, you guys have any knowledge about the Open CV or images? You can write in the chat window. I am reading your messages so that I can see about the your basics. Okay. So some people know something. Uh, should know about the Open CV. okay let me explain the things let me show you like what we are going to do in the workshop okay first and last gaming have written no you don't have any knowledge don't worry about it we are going to cover each and everything from the very basic okay so here i am writing the agenda for the workshop what we are going to do first we will take introduction of computer vision okay and then we will go ahead towards the open cv how we are going to implement the open cv and then we will see the final r project that is the face mask detection okay and certain guidelines i am providing you guys what you need to do just focus in the class just read just listen to me and follow the commands along with me and whatever we are going to do we are going to implement the things in the google colab so you don't need to install anything okay so this is the very first question some guys are asking like how we are going to implement what platform we are going to use here you don't need to worry about any platform you don't need to install anything you can just start your google type over the google google colab and then there will be there would be a uh, interface and you are going to see that interface okay okay some people already know something about the google colab is something about the computer vision open cv some just want to uh, know the from very basic some already attended certain topics earlier don't worry about all these things i'm going to explain the things once more okay each and everything i'm here i'm assuming every student don't know anything about the computer vision about the open cv about the face mask detection uh, project so we are going to cover each and everything from the very basic very scratch level okay so guys uh, and one more thing in the description of this video 
In the description of this video, you can see the certain instructions regarding your attendance. What you need to do after attending this workshop to get your certificate, you need to write certain summaries and there are the certain things written there. And one more important thing in the description of this video, I have provided the data set link. So you guys need to uh, integrate that data set into your uh, Google Drive. Okay. In the last line of the description of this video, I have provided one link for the Google Drive that contains the data set. Okay. What you need to do, you need to add that, you need to uh, download those all these things and you need to upload to your Google Drive. Okay, because we are going to use this data set in this workshop. Okay guys, so let me start from very first topic that is the computer vision. When this terms comes to our mind, what is the computer vision? How we can work with the computer vision? I can show you one post here uh, at our website go to www.goeduhub.com and then here in the search window you can type computer vision okay and then you can see here the difference between the image processing and computer vision okay let me explain you what is the computer vision in the computer vision what we are going to do whatever we are doing with the help of our brain and our eyes that thing we can perform with the help of the computer vision. Like I can see certain things and I can see cat and dog uh, image and I can easily distinguish this is a cat or this is a dog with the help of my eyes and my mind. So in the computer vision, we are working with the uh, images, we are working with the different videos, okay? Clear? One thing here is for what we are working. Basically, in the text data, we don't need more over the computer vision. In the computer vision, we are taking certain images as an input and we are getting certain knowledge. Like here in the computer vision, I can say I can take an input image. Okay. And this image I'll process through certain uh, algorithms. And then I'll get certain knowledge about this image. What I'm trying to tell you here, here we are taking certain images okay uh, don't worry about I'll explain about the image also and then we get certain knowledge about this image when we pass this algorithm through the computer vision image you know what is the image image is basically collection of pixels Okay, we have certain numerical values here like 20, 40, 35, and 100, 115, something values like this. These values, this is the smallest unit of the image and this smallest unit is a single pixel. So I can say a image is a collection of pixels. Okay, image is a collection of pixels that we need to process. And these pixel values, you can see, you, when you will read an image, you can print this pixel values should be in the form of an array. And this pixel value is between 0 to 255.
This value between 0 to 255 means it indicates grayscale image. Basically, this pixel value represents intensity or you can say brightness of the image. All these things we are going to do in the practical, just I am explaining what is the image and what is the computer vision. Then I will start my Google call app and then I will start doing the practical of all these things. Okay. So basically, these things are representing the brightness of the image. Okay, so from this image, this is a cat image. Suppose this is a cat image. And at the end, I'll get certain knowledge. Initially, I don't know this is a cat image. And at the end, I'll recognize this is a image of a particular animal like cat. Okay. So I'm getting certain knowledge through the computer vision. So basically I can say computer vision is fast advancing technology plays a crucial part in the artificial intelligence. The first thing which is coming to our mind is, I already told you the combination of eyes and brain. It mainly focus on extracting the information from a image okay so basically when we are working over certain images and videos we are going to use the computer vision that's all certain applications of the computer vision like this is an image in this image we have detected certain objects and today in the today's workshop we are going to implement one practical application of computer vision Okay, uh, some guys are asking a question, we are not getting the link for the data set. You guys please see in the description of this video and the last line in the description of this video is a data set link that is a Google Drive link. Just go uh, in the description of this video and last line is written there data set and then there is a link you need to copy. You need to click over that link and there you can see uh, data set is available. Sakshi and Deepak. Okay. Are you getting the things? Okay, so let me go ahead and I'll tell you certain applications of the computer vision. So first application you have seen that is the object detection. Here we have detected certain objects with the help of computer vision. Okay, so what we can use in the computer vision, we can use the machine learning techniques, we can use the uh, different neural networks like convolutional neural network and some other techniques. Okay, and one more thing you can see what is the then image processing. Like two terms always coming together. One is the computer vision, one is the image processing. In the image processing, what we are taking, we are taking an image as an input and then we process the image and then we will get certain output or the image. Like we can change the image color, we can change the image contrast. Uh, highlights, shadow, we can change, uh, like we can cut the image, we can smooth the image, we can increase the brightness, uh, we can swap the pixels, all these things we can do over the image with the help of the image processing. 
so basically in the image processing we are doing certain operations on the image only and at the end in the output we are getting only the image but in the computer vision in the output we are getting knowledge of the image that's the difference between the image processing and computer vision okay so basically in the image processing we are working over the only the single image only the image and we are getting in the output only the image but in the computer vision when we are processing over the image we are getting certain knowledge and uh, you can say image processing is a technique that can be used in the computer vision okay so this is the basic uh, confusion about the image processing and computer vision okay and both fields having certain similarities like we can work together in many cases like in the certain cases we are using image processing as well as computer vision all together okay now come to the google call app just go to the google and then open your google call app google call app okay and here you can see first link appears collab.research.google.com you can click over here and here you can create your new jupyter notebook or either you can open any existing collab okay i can simply create new notebook so that you guys will get the information about how to create a google notebook in the google call app if you are having jupyter notebook and if you are having pycharm you can work over that also but i'll prefer you guys just use the google call app this is the this is the google's gpu you are getting the free access of gpu without paying any cost and you don't need to install open cv and all these things you can directly work over the google call app okay so here i'm writing workshop part 1 okay what i am going to do uh, somebody is asking ma'am can i do on jupiter yes you can do on the jupiter i'm not telling you but i'll prefer you will do along with me on the google call app so it would be better you for you to understand each and everything here we need to import the open cv first you can write any python code here like print i'm just writing the python hello i'm just giving brief introduction about the sorry import cv2 <laughs> don't need to write the open cv cv2 for importing the uh, open cv we need to write the cv2 so here i am importing import cv2 it means i have already installed open cv i don't need to install even i have not installed any open cv here already google installed the open cv in google call app so you don't need to worry about the installation part like that is uh, not a part of our uh, uh, work like we are doing some developing we are developing some application we don't need to worry about the installation part that is the simple libraries you need to install easily so just use the call app it is giving you lots of libraries already installed or some libraries if uh, are not installed you can easily use them okay so here you can write any python command you can write any python code like i can write a equals to 10 b equals to 20 and then i can write here print a plus b it will give you the output i'm just saying you can write any python code in the google call app okay you don't need to worry about all these things uh, installation part that's why i'm always focusing over the google call app 
even uh, like a program that having the huge amount of data if you will run that program in your system maybe your anaconda jupiter or pycharm can hang when you are training a good network but in the google collab you can use even the gpu also like here in the edit if you go to the edit and in the notebook settings you can click here and you can see hardware accelerator you can use gpu tpu like i can set here the gpu and it will save now i'm accessing the gpu okay i can run one session at a time so i need to terminate for other sessions okay so now i have configured the gpu of google notebook setting and you can see here the gp okay everything is clear till now i have not i have just given the introduction of computer vision image processing and google collab next thing is our today's topic what why i have picked this topic because all of you already know nowadays the covid 19 pandemic is on the like peak we are facing lots of problems due to the covid 19 and most of you are like all the colleges are not working nowadays you are not uh, physically going to the college you are attending the online classes but wherever we are going the physically we have to follow the social distancing and we have to wear the mask uh, even if you are vaccinated so this pandemic is like um, even full world is facing this pandemic situation to so uh, most of the comments are using the computer vision and ai techniques to handle uh, different situations okay what you are not getting the output you simply write here any python command and you can run here the run icon you can click over this run icon or either you can press shift enter you don't need to install anything here you don't need to install the cv2 and all these things everything is already there actually i have written import open cv that was the wrong uh, by mistake i have written import open cv that's why it's giving me the error if you write simply import cv2 this is the line for importing the cv2 so you don't get any error okay so uh, in the face mask detection i can go to our website and you can see here a lot of projects are already written here our website having lots of content so here if you search over the face mask detections my last summer students some summer students have completed the project on face mask detection okay so uh, this is the one of the project i'm going to ex explain you today so what is the need of this project you already know considering the covid 19 outbreak i think this is the best project that we can work on the computer vision that we can work on that and we all know we are all wearing the mask if we predict the mask with the help of the computer vision then it would be the great help no vinita gpu and gui are both are the different thing gpu is a machine graphical processing unit interface graphical user interface is gui somebody have likhan return the graphical user interface that is the gui Gra graphical processing unit is a gpu deepak you were written something wrong 
ओके गगन गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू समार जॉइन द लेट डोंट वेरी गाइज टेल नाउ आई हैव कवर्ड सर्टन बेसिक्स ओके सो इन दिस प्रोजेक्ट वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू वी आर गोइंग टू ट्रेन अ मॉडल विद द हेल्प ऑफ सर्टन इमेजेस दैट हैविंग द मास्क एंड सर्टन इमेजेस दैट हैविंग नोट हैविंग द मास्क and then we will train our neural network and that network will recognize either a person will face uh, person's face is wearing the mask or not okay so now come to the practical part and here the first thing what i am going to do i am going to read an image how to read an image in open cv or one more thing i'll give you the little bit introduction about the open cv also you can go to our website and then here the free tutorials in the free tutorials you can find out there is a tutorial on the open cv and in this tutorial you can see the working of the open cv and introduction of open cv so i have told you like in the open cv what we can do open cv basically a open source computer vision library okay it is nothing it is the open source computer vision library and we can use the real time computer vision applications to implement with the help of the open cv like what the applications we can do we can detect the face that we are going to do today okay and we can detect even objects in different images and we can try even recognize the handwriting and you can say uh, with the help of the remote Uh, we can uh, predict the social distancing with the help of different cameras so whatever the thing you can imagine in the working with the image and video all these things you can do like you can detect the car speed you can detect even a, whether a car is coming or not you can detect different objects okay so open cv is a computer vision library you can go to its official documentation also in the official documentation it, site is opencv.org open cv ai competition 2021 what we need to see we can go in the bottom and we can see here the online documentation even in the online documentation there are lots in the tutorials you can go and here you can see introduction to the open cv and in the introduction first thing is how to install the open cv and then how to build the applications with the open cv okay there are the different things you can do with the open cv like you can image processing basic drawings there are the lots of things we can do okay so now you should know about the open cv this is a library of python and this is a library open source library for the computer vision and it supports the multiple languages it supports the c++ also but we are going to use the python and with the help of the open cv we can read and write images we can capture and save videos we can process the images like we can filter and transform the images okay and then we can detect the specific objects like face eyes cars and videos in the videos and images and we can analyze the videos also okay so these are the features of the open cv it is a cross platform library using which we can develop the real time computer vision applications okay deepak is asking a question ma'am should we set the image first in the code 
and then after we will detect them otherwise it will possible or not we will first read a image with the help of the open cv and then we will uh, walk over that image features feature is what whatever you are having inside the image that are the features of the image in the computer vision when you are reading a image that is just like a numpy array you are reading a image in the computer vision just like a numpy array for the computer image is nothing it is a collection of certain numerical values you can say it is a collection of an array array in the array what we are having we are having the pixel values okay so you here the next part is create an installation you don't need to worry about these things you don't need to install anything now the next thing is we need to how to read a image and how to show a image how to write a image we are going to do all these things okay clear so introduction of open cv is clear now let me start the implementation part of the open cv okay guys can you give me a quick confirmation are you getting each and everything or is there any doubt you can ask me in the chat window meanwhile while i'm seeing your chat window also obviously first we need to read the image then only the computer vision can work otherwise for what uh, computer vision will work it needs certain input input is what image and video video is what video is collection of images okay you can create the different projects in the open cv like one of the good project is social distancing finding the social distancing okay so first thing now i'm going to read a image in the open cv okay so uh, what i need to do certain things you should know here i'm writing certain comments what happened okay new window is created don't worry so what i'm doing here first we need to load certain libraries i'm writing the name of the libraries like what i need numpy library numpy library it is a array like array manipulation library in this library we can do the work over the arrays you can say array array work for the array work i need the numpy and uh, next library i need pandas pandas for what i need pandas is a library for data manipulation and you can say data analysis okay and uh, next library i need cv2 that is the open cv for the computer vision task okay uh, next is one more library i'm going to use is sk image sk image is library which supports the some image processing applications and then matplotlib for plotting the libraries plotting the images it is a plotting library that generate certain figures and it will provide graphical user interface okay so i need these libraries so first of all i'll import these libraries okay 
So, here I am going to write import numpy as np, then I will import pandas. Guys, please follow along with me and then I will import cv2 as cv. Okay. And for in the Google Colab, to show a image, we need to import a function cv2 underscore imshow. So, from Google, like if you are showing some images in the open cv, you need imshow function. So, for the Google Colab, we need cv2 underscore imshow. Google dot collab dot patches and from this I import cv2 underscore imshow. Okay, this is for showing for display image image in collab. Okay. And then I will importing from sk image import io. Okay. And I will also importing one more library that is the pil. This is for image only. I will import image. Okay, and then I am importing matplotlib. Okay, these are the libraries I am going to use. Even I increase the font size also. Okay, are you getting the things? How we can import the different libraries? We can simply import the libraries like this. Any library inside the Python you can use in the collab. It's a simple, uh, Deepak is asking the system configuration. I am having the simple i5 processor system. There is nothing special about it. Okay, Deepak. Some students are my previous courses students. I think most of the names I I know. Nikhil Gupta, even Suraj also, Vinita. Okay. So guys, you can even you guys can uh, spread the information about the workshop into your college uh, batchmates so that the other people can get the benefit of different these free activities because in the COVID pandemic we are supporting lots of the students we are providing the most of the things free of cost and even in the summer training also we are going to start one batch and in that batch we are taking the very less minimum amount of fees you can go to our website www.goeduhub.com and you can see Over the GoEdu Hub, you can see our online summer training program. That I am going to take that summer program and in this summer program, we have included lots of the technologies like we have included AI, ML, deep learning, computer vision, we have included natural language processing and we have included the image processing. Even this course we are going to take only the 5000 uh, rupees and this is 45 days training with the project. You will complete the lots of one major project and lots of huge cases in this course. This is the totally practical based and you can see the course content also given here in the description. All the modules I am going to cover in this course. Even the latest things that is the GANs. Have you heard about the GANs? Generative Adversarial Neural Networks. So we are going to co cover Generative Adversarial Neural Networks also. Okay. And whatever the activity we are uh, going to start, you can see over our website and even in the YouTube channel also. So you can subscribe our channel and you will get the latest updates.
okay now i'm going to start how to read an image uh, django when we will start on the django i'll surely we will inform you guys right now there is no plan as well i don't know about it but whatever the plan we will share with you guys okay so first of all i'm going to read an image so here you can upload an image like in the left side window here um, in the files there is an icon like arrow up arrow you can click over this up arrow it will upload an image like from my desktop i'm going to upload a image is there some image let me check it out IMG five. Okay, I'm uploading here an image from my desktop. And this is the IMG five. This is one of my college pic. Okay, so I have uploaded one image, and now I'm going to read this image, and even I can read the images from the. some url also so you can upload any image from your system okay and i'm closing this window and here i'm writing certain text i can insert a cell that will write certain commands like this read image okay and even i can read image from certain urls also i just if i just want to read some image from certain sites then also i can read the image like this is a site pixabay it have lots of images and from here i just want to read a image of artificial intelligence there is a certain images i'm taking this image okay and i can copy this url okay even i need to copy image address okay this is the image address i can read this image how to read this image url I'll put the URL. URL equals to, and inside the double quotes, I need to put the URL. Okay. And then I can read the image. Image. With the help of IO and even with the help of CV two also, I'm reading here image with the help of the IO. image im read and here i'm providing the url let me check it out this url is not allowing i can give some other url also don't worry maybe this link is not allowing let me correct it either i have to get with the w get
maybe this link is not allowing we can take the another link do okay and meanwhile i can read the image image equals to cv dot m read and with the here i can give the my image name i'll give the another path for that image don't worry copy this path okay with the help of open cv i can read the image simply cv dot m read even i can give the another path here i can change the some url let me check one url is i i f dot lib Double zero five two five seven four. I'm taking some other image. Yeah, this is one image, and uh, let me copy this part. in url okay and now i'm going to read this url yeah this url is allowing it depends on the site its policy we can read the image or not we can read this image with the help of url okay so you can read the image with the help of url now we are going to see how the image look like okay this is the simply i have taken one image from this particular url okay and then i'm picking this image reading this image in the image variable next thing is how to you can see the image like how this image look like okay so uh, in the open cv basically open cv reads image in bgr format like a image having certain colors and colors always uh, represented in the form of rgb red green blue image colors are represented in the form of rgb okay but open cv reads the color in the form of vgr let me show you rgb and for open cv it's a bgr okay blue green red so we need to convert like whenever we are reading a image with the help of the open cv it reads image in bgr format so if you want to see the image you need to convert from bgr to rgb okay so in the cv2 we have function cvt color using the cvt color we we need to pass here our image and then the color format okay so let me show you the practical part here this image and i'll convert this image image color equals to cv dot cvt color you can see uh, google colab always provide you the help so you don't need to write the complete function spellings you don't need to worry about the function spellings and it will give you the help like cvt color cvt color is a function converts an image from one color space to another color space 
okay so here what i need to give i need to give first parameter is source image that is the image variable image okay and then i need to pass this function cv dot color and underscore bcr to rgb okay and then i can show this image with the help of this function cv2 underscore m show so i need to write here cv2 underscore m show and here image underscore color okay and now you can see the output here this is the image okay and if in place of underscore color if i'll print the simple image then you can see the contrast is different this is the bzr format not the rgb original is something different here the blue is red red is blue something color is different even i can concat both the images like you can see one thing my final image equals to cv dot there is a function h concat okay and inside this function i can pass two parameters one is the my image and another one is the my color image image and comma image underscore color and then inside this im show i can write final image now i can run this code what happened okay let me run this again image and okay yes now two images you can see we concatenated two images first is our image that is the uh, like read by open cv this is the image and then we have converted this image to the color image rgb format first is you can say bzr format and second is a rgb format Deepak you are getting the error because there would be some path error I can give you that in the comment section you simply just see carefully the url i have used the url this url https colon double slash triple i f l i b n c u i can give you this code okay you guys can copy this url and you can try over this url okay so simply how to read a image and then how to show a image and we can concat two images we can change the color in the images also i have pasted the code in the comment section guys please see the comment Uh, in the description in the comment i have provided the link so you are making the mistake in the link address okay 
so this is the simply how to read an image and then how to show an image then we can do the different operations over the image like we can uh, capture the image contours we can generate the histograms we can convert image into the grayscale image we can generate different uh, histogram of different images we can do the different mathematical operations over the image also okay so i told you in the first first thing what we are going this is the four hour workshop first we are going to implement certain operations over the image then we will see the live camera then we will see the face detection face detection in the live camera and then we, then at the end we will see face mask detection okay so be connected be patient this is only the 4 hour workshop and i'll try to cover each and everything in the 4 hour okay are you getting the things everything is clear till now everybody is doing all these things because most of the places you can see people are using the jupiter notebook and what happen in the jupiter notebook when you are going to work over the good uh, data sets it won't work it you cannot train the good models yes uh, somebody is asking for the udemy course coupon code yeah we will provide you the udemy course coupon code here okay Uh, we have complete course on the udemy over the uh, this open cv so we will provide you the uh, coupon code after the some time okay okay guys can you please confirm me till now everything is clear or not Okay. Next thing is I'll do certain operation over this image. Okay. Let me go ahead and So what we have done we have take an image from a url simple thing you can do with the other image also that we have done here like this in place of this image i can i can comment the upper part okay and i can read my image that i have loaded here and this time i can run this code and you can see this is the image original and this is the bgr format image okay so first step is we have done certain dependencies then we have read the image from url how to display the image now the next part i'm going to do here is image contours and histograms okay so here first i'll take the certain properties for the image you can see you can print the type of the image like what is this image like this image variable and i'm going to check the data type of this image d type data type what data type of this image u int this is the unsigned integer nothing else this is the simple image now what i am going to take i am going to see its height width shape and other parameters 
ओके सो लेट मी चेक हर प्रिंट इमेज डॉट शेप ओके इट्स सेप फर्स्ट आल प्रिंट द सेप देन आल प्रिंट द सेप जीरो इन द शेप यू कैन सी सेवन ट्वेंटी इंटू नाइन सिक्सटी इंटू थ्री This is a color image. That's why the third component is three. If this is a grayscale image, then third component always one. Okay, and then it's a height. I'm going to see it's a height. Height is first parameter is height. Like shape of zero is height and shape of one is width. Image. Width is always from left to right, and height is always from top to bottom. Like this is an image. In this image, if you talk about the width, width is from left to right, and height is top to bottom. Always computer reads from left to right, top to bottom. Same thing when we are writing some text. What we are doing from left to right, top to bottom. Okay, so its height is print image dot shape zero, and then you can see print image dot shape one. So this is the height, width, and now the third parameter. I told you color pa color parameter. We call it technically number of channels of the image. So I can write the number of channels. Image dot shape and two, and you can see the channels of the image is three R G. Okay, got it. Next thing is, uh, I need to trace the contour and then the histogram. Okay, so what is the histogram? Histogram is basically distribution of things. Like in an image, you just want to find out certain interesting regions. we will create a histogram first our image then you will understand what is this actually you can see it's a distribution of pixel values like how to create a histogram i'm writing here creating histogram let me show you first and then i'll explain you plt in the matplotlib there is a function called hist okay and here i'm passing image dot ravel this will convert 2d to 1d image and then beans i need to specify the beans beans how many be uh, like total pixel values is in range of 0 to 255 so i can say total pixel different values i can have 256 Okay, so range here, I'm providing zero to two fifty five. Two fifty six. It won't include the last one. Plt dot show. Okay, let me show you. 
this is the distribution of pixels like you can see here a particular pixel value that is near around 100 you can say in 90th pixel repeated 70500 times a pixel value is repeated 17500 so you can say distribution of pixels all the, it will display all the pixels in the color image we can separately show the rgb channel all three channels like we can separate the red channel we can separate the green channel we can separate the blue channel but this diagram shows you like if i'll print image simple image image i can show you the image what is the image contains image contains a array that is a numpy array this is a array and inside this array we have certain values like 2 3 7 181 156 26 42 88 certain values like this and the range of these values 0 to 255 okay so distribution like this 237th value is how many times repeated in this image that shows the histogram okay so what we need to do sometimes we need to find out certain regions so you can say this region this is a particular region here the mostly pixels are repeated like 10000 about the 10000 times okay so this histogram shows the distribution of pixel values i can separate out red green and blue all three channels okay let me write here okay color and you can go through it simple color equals to three color components i have bgr and then i need to write here loop 4i comma call color in enumerate color don't worry if you are not uh, clear with the color i'll show you one more example i'm providing certain parameters like image and then channel channel is i is first channel like its index its a, a color will give you two things here in the i we will have the index like 0 1 2 and in the call we will have the color value like blue green red so first thing is image and then i is uh, which the channel we are having and the next parameters i need to pass out here like i'm passing the non and then the like mask i'm not giving any mask and then the maximum pixel value i'm providing 256 okay hist size is 256 and range is 0 to 256 you don't need to remember all these things you simply understand the things plt dot plot and here what i am going to plot hist r after certain practice you will know you will remember the things also okay ah 
and then plt dot show and you can see the distribution of different channels like how the red is distributed how the blue is distributed and how the green is distributed now this is the simple histogram you just don't need to worry about it this is the simply i have divided the histogram into the three colors now the next task is i need to convert the image into the gray scale like we have taken the image we have seen its parameter but this is the color image i need to i need to process this image for the phase detection so first i have to convert the image into the gray scale i need to remove the color component okay so how to convert into the gray scale converting into the gray scale <coughs> we simply use a function cvt color here i am writing the comment also okay for converting the gray image gray underscore image cv dot cvt color and inside this function i need to pass image and then here cv dot color underscore bcr to gray in place of bcr to rgb here i am passing gray and now you can show this image in the google call app how to show the image cv2 underscore m show function we are using here gray underscore image so what we are using guys oh what is this cv2 has no attribute what attribute okay color this color should be in the caps let me correct this o l o u r okay and now you can see the output is in gray scale getting we converted our image from bcr to gray guys we have to go ahead because i uh, instagram is simply i'll explain one more time some guys are asking for the instagram calculate hist it is a function and this function will take certain parameters like image and for which color you want to do here and this this is the beans and this is the range of beans and masking i'm not providing any mask so this is the simple function for the histogram you can see in the documentation also of the histogram okay next in interesting thing we are going to do is phase detection okay in the phase detection what we are going to do we have taken the image we converted the image into the gray scale and the next part is from the image we are interested over the face area only we don't want to work over the complete image we just want to over the work over the face area only so we are going to extract only the face for the mask also we have to uh, like first we have to work only with the face only some other image processing operations you can do like contour tracing also you can do uh, histogram equalization also you can do 
and some other operations like you can do the fourier transformation of the gray images you can do the you can find the ages of in the image you can blur the image you can do the different task over the image okay so let me go ahead and i can write this image also how to write this image i can write this image in my caller like cv dot im right in the next block i'll write write image how to write image cv dot okay im write and inside this i need to provide file name okay here i can give a file name file name equals to test dot jpg okay and inside this im write i can write like this file name and then the variable what is the variable image underscore gray gray underscore image okay this variable and let me run this and this true means i have written a file you can see here in the left side you can see one more file is coming that is the test.jpg and this test.jpg you can see you can click over this image and you can see i have created this image okay so basically we ha how to read a image how to display image how to check the different parameters of the image and then how to convert the colors in the different color mode and then how to write a image we have seen the certain basic operations over the image okay next thing is we are going to detect the face so i can open my collab okay in the google collab how to access uh, for the webcam and videos and then we are going to like then we are going to detect the face okay so in the snips in the google collab i'm just going to uh, access the images with the help of my webcam okay so here in the left side you can see the snips okay and from the snips you can insert certain snips code here okay and like capture camera these are the certain codes are already available with the caller okay i can take this capture cam this code it's showing this code capture camera 
this already inbuilt code with the collab i can insert this code in my code file okay i'm inserting this code this code is inserted into my collab what you can do simply click in the left side snips and in the snips capture camera then it will show you the code here and you need to click over the insert button and it will insert this code in your collab okay now this code is inserted into the collab let me run this code what is this code in the gpu i can walk over the only the single uh, collab otherwise if you are not selected the gpu then you can walk over the multiple collabs also now this is running i have this running code this block let me see what is inside this block okay inside this block i python dot display this is for displaying this is the python package for displaying the things google collab output actually in the google collab what we are doing we are trying to access our camera basically we are accessing a remote machine remote machine is not at our workstation it is at the google's office and we are trying to integrate our camera with the google machine okay so for integrating our camera with the google machine what we need to write we need to write certain code in the form of javascript so you don't need to worry about sorry you don't need to worry about this code like uh, how to write the code google already provided this code in build code take photo function so this take photo function having some javascript code and in this javascript code it's trying to access our camera with google's machine okay this is very interesting topic guys how to access your camera in the google collab because most of you don't know how to access the collab camera in the google collab okay so this take photo inside this what we are writing this is the bs64 decode this is the format and file name is photo.jpg okay and inside this a javascript is written and what is the javascript like some of you already know certain things about uh, like uh, in the javascript we have some divisions we have some buttons Uh, any website having the certain javascript this website having certain javascripts okay so when you are creating some web pages or something like this you surely uh, know about the javascript so in the javascript certain division certain buttons uh, this capture all these things okay and then if you come in the downside what we are trying to do we are trying to create a window that have certain width and height and then we are going to start the camera okay so this is the function and below this function i have written a code the second block of code is already this is from the google only i have not written this code uh, from when you are inserting two blocks are inserted one is the function and another one is how to call the function file name equals to take underscore photo and this photo will be saved somewhere let me run this second block and it will start my webcam you can see this is my webcam 
it started my webcam and here I can capture the images. You can see here the capture button. And if I'll click over this capture, it will capture my image. You can see. Captured my image photo.jpg and you can see over here the photo.jpg is saved. Okay, you can see this image, photo.jpg. Okay, so basically you can capture an image with the help of Google Colab. Any error till now or any doubt till now, you can ask me. Like what I have done, nothing else. I have not written any code. I just use the Google code. You can go here in the snips and just capture camera and it will start your camera. You can capture any image, whatever you want. Like as many times you can click over here, it will open your camera. And you can capture the image from here. Okay, and you can see this image and then furthermore you can use this image. Okay, clear everything. Now I'm just going to modify the, this code. Like I'm going to detect the face in this image and then what my interest of area is only the face. I'm not interested in the other area. Yes, can you please confirm me till now everything is clear or not? So that we can go ahead. Okay, so shall I assume you guys are getting the things, okay? Next thing is I need to define certain functions. What happens here, I'm getting an image, okay? But this image is from JavaScript. So I need to read this image in the open CV. This is the simple image. I need to read this image in the open CV. So here I'm defining certain functions. You need to write these functions. Function to convert the JavaScript object into a OpenCV image. This JavaScript object, this image I'm getting in the response of JavaScript object. Now I need to convert this object image into a OpenCV image because I'm going to work over the OpenCV only. I'm going to detect the face with the help of OpenCV only. After two hours, we will take a short break of 10 minutes. Okay. So you don't need to worry about all these four hours. I'm not taking the continuously. After two hours, like at one o'clock, we will take a break of 10 minutes. So be fresh guys and be connected and listen to me each and everything. So you will get the lots of things. Okay, so here I'm defining a function def js to image and inside this I'm putting JavaScript reply. Whatever we are getting from the JavaScript, we are passing through this function. 
and this javascript image contain object contains a image from the webcam now i need to convert this image into the bgr image so i need to decode this image b64 decode okay b64 decode this javascript image dot split comma one and converts bytes to the numpy array then we need to convert the bytes to the numpy array so np dot from buffer and np dot u int 8 and finally whatever we are getting we need to decode the numpy array into the bgr image Okay, and then finally we are returning an image. Okay. Now come to the Har cascade classifier. Next thing is we are going to um, like we are going to find out the face only. So first thing you should know how to find out the face. Har cascade classifier. What is the Har cascade classifier and how does it work? Okay, so Har cascade classifier is simply I can explain you in the Okay, basically Har cascade classifier it have a model. This is classifier. Basically, this is a pre-trained model. We are using a pre-trained model. We are not going to train a model. Pre-trained model for the face detection. Okay. Basically, you can say for the object detection, how this model is trained, this model is trained different face images, face positive images and face negative images, positive images and negative images means images having the face or not having the face. Okay. Images without face. We trained like it has already trained a model uh, by some person, the Paul Viola and Michael Jones. I don't remember the, exactly the names. And they have trained this model with the help of different features. What are the features they have used? Features like what type of features in a face? Uh, in a face, you can say the features like uh, age features, like our uh, boundaries for the nose and lips. So you can say line features, age features, line features, and then rectangle features. different type of features and it is trained over the 1,60,000 16 lakh features so trained over the 16 lakh features okay so they have taken the lots of images and even this model have taken lots of time you cannot train a model uh, this uh, even models will take the months to train and it need the good machines so this is the pre-trained model we can use for the face detection even this is not the this is not giving the as much good accuracy we can use in place of har cascade we can use the other models like mtcnn or some other models also 
so they are even in the uh, comparison of hr cascade mtcnn giving the more accuracy but the basic very basic model for the phase detection is hr cascade it takes a image of 24 cross 24 window okay and then it will apply 6000 features to it okay and then it will check either it is a phase or not okay and this is the cascade classified instead of applying this a single window a group of features of different stages are applied one by one this is the single stage i am telling you one stage they are not using the one stage they are in the cascade classifier what we are using uh, in place of a single window these features are grouped into the different windows and they are applied one by one and the what the code we need to write here here we can take the har cascade classifier weight file in the data set file i have already shared the weight file with you okay and what we need to do we need to uh, load that file and from with the help of that file we are going to use certain functions from the phase detection like detect multi scale or some other okay so let me write the code now This is the simple concept we are using in the Har Cascade classifier. Okay, let me write the code here. You need to upload here the Har Cascade file. i need to mount the whatever you are using from your drive you need to mount it like here the drive icon go to there click over this it will ask you mount drive it will give you the url link like this okay you need to click in the new window and then here it will ask you for the permissions like sign in permission this is my account and i'm providing all the sign in permissions allow then we will get a code copy this code and you need to paste this code enter your authorization code enter and you can see here our uh, here the message will be displayed mounted the drive at content slash drive and just wait here also it will show the drive it's not refreshed here you can see the drive now you can use the files from your drive also like from the drive my drive and here you can see i have a data mask detection mobile net okay mask detection mobile net and here i have one folder har cascade and from the har cascade you can see 
I dot XML am having frontal face and full body. Different hair cascade models are available. Like you can detect the eyes, you can detect the frontal face, you can detect the full body. Okay, so we are going to use the frontal face first. Okay, so here I have inserted some blank blocks, okay? What happened? This is the image and here I need to insert only. Okay, so let me read this file first. I don't need the GPU. GPU you need only when you have uh, large data sets. Okay, so I can change it. It's a setting. It's a again and again telling me you are not using the GPU. Notebook settings and here I'm setting none. So by default, normal machine, okay? So now I need to read this har cascade frontal face default.xml file. So I'm writing here face cascade Face cascade equals to CV dot. Shall I import it CV or not? I don't remember. No. In this column, I have not imported the CV. CV2, yes. So CV2. If you have written import CV, CV2 as CV, then you need to write here CV. Otherwise, you need to write here CV2. Okay. CV2 dot cascade cas cad classifier. Cascade classifier and inside this classifier, I need to put the path of this frontal face file. So here you can see the path of the frontal face file. Oh, I need to write, I need to run this code again. Because it was the GPU and I switched to the normal machine. So my, all the running output is went. I need to run this again. I have taken one image that is the photo dot jpg and next part is this is the simple I'm running these dependencies okay and then this helper function helper function you need to write that is written by me only so you need to write the helper function because in this function what we are doing we are converting our javascript object to the open cv image Okay. And next is this thing, har cascade. Before this, I need to mount the drive also.
ओके जस्ट अ मिनट लेट मी डू दिस बिकॉज आई हैव स्विस्ट दैट्स वाई इट्स आई हैव टू डू अगेन ऑथराइजेशन कोड एंड ओके इट्स रनिंग नाउ माई ड्राइव इज माउंटेड ओके एंड आई वॉज अप साइड दिस वन ओके एंड ह्योर आई नीड टू टेक द पाथ ऑफ दिस हार कैसकेट फ्रंटल फेस फाइल माई ड्राइव यू गैज अपलोड दिस डेटा फाइल लाइक मास्क डिटेक्शन मोबाइल नीट आई हैव प्रोवाइडेड लिंक ऑफ दिस डेटा फाइल यू कैन डाउनलोड दिस फाइल दिस हैविंग द डेटा सेट फॉर द मास्क डेटा एंड दिस इज वी आर हैविंग द हार केसकेट फाइल्स ऑल्सो इन साइड इट ओके एंड देन हार केसकेट फ्रंटल फेस एंड हियर द थ्री डोर्स यू नीड टू क्लिक ओवर दिस एंड कॉपी पाथ वी नीड टू पुट दिस पाथ हियर Inside the double quotes. Okay, now I am reading this file inside the face casket. Let me run this code. Okay, clear. You can see my path file is at. Contain drive, my drive, and then this is the folder, and inside this folder, har casket and har casket frontal face. Okay, guys. Now the next thing is we need to detect the face. Okay. so we are having the image called the photo photo dot jpg that we have clicked from our camera so i'm going to use this image only this photo dot jpg okay so i don't read to uh, need to read a image otherwise you can read a image like cv2 dot m read and inside this you can give the path of the image okay and i'm having image so i'm reading the image like this img equals to cv2 dot m read and inside this i'm passing path of this image photo dot jpg or you can copy the file path from here copy path and you can put here Content photo dot jpg. Okay, and after reading this image, I need to convert this image into the gray scale. Gray equals to cv two dot cvt color img, and then I need to change cv2 dot color underscore bgr to gray okay let me run this block i have taken a image and then that image i have converted to the gray scale i can show the image also Okay, I need to import this from the Google Patches. CV two underscore M show. Here I have written this line. <clears throat> okay. द 
This is my grayscale image. Okay, live image I have taken and this is my grayscale image. Okay, next thing is I need to detect only the face part. So to detect the face part from this, this using this face cascade. I am writing here, I am commenting this display part, okay. And here only, face is equals to face cascade. This face cascade. And I need to call a function detect multi scale. Detect multi scale. And inside this, I need to pass the gray image. And then here I need to write the certain parameters. Like you can see here in the description, scale factor, minimum neighbors, and min size and max size. These things I need to provide. This is a function, detect multi scale function is defined inside the this frontal face cascade classifier XML file. Okay, so I can access this function. Here I'm writing scale factor scale factor is 1.2 and then I'm writing here min neighbors min neighbors equals to 5 and then here I'm providing min size equals to 20 comma 20 okay and then I need to print the faces it will give you the four coordinates these four coordinates are what? These four coordinates are inside this square bracket face coordinates. Let me explain you. Okay. Like I'm getting the four coordinates. Like I'm taking certain value 94, 31, some value 75, 65. Okay, suppose I'm getting the output like this. This is the coordinate of face. And in this coordinate, first parameter indicates x, this is y, and this is indicates width w, and this is height h. x is x coordinate x coordinate and this is y coordinate and this w and h w is the width of the face and h is height of the face so i need to draw a rectangle over the face like this is a human being my drawings are not good but I need to draw a rectangle over the face area only I'm getting four things so this XY I can pick here XY coordinate and then this W and this height H so you know this if you are having one coordinate XY corner coordinates this is the starting point and then this coordinate would be 
x plus w comma y and this below coordinate is x plus w y plus h and here x y plus h so if you are getting the four coordinates means you can draw a rectangle so inside the cv2 there is a function cv2 dot rectangle we are going to use this function we are going to draw a rectangle over the face area guys clear Shall I draw a rectangle? Okay, these are the four coordinates I am getting. So let me draw here the rectangle. Four x comma y comma w comma h in faces. Okay, and then CV two dot rectangle. IMG comma x comma y. I'll explain you. Don't worry. X plus W. First, I'll show you. Y plus H. and then i need to provide a certain color 255 i'm red color and then this and here i'll show you cv2 underscore m show and I am G. Let me run this block. This is my image, and the blue box I have created over the image. So face detected. Clear, guys? What I have written here. Simply with the help of hard cascade, I got the face. I need to load this hard cascade classifier. Then I need to load the image, converted image to the grayscale, and from for the hard cascade, I'm using the function detect multi scale. Inside this, I'm passing the grayscale image, and these are the certain parameters I have to pass. And this will provide you four coordinates: x, y, w, h. Okay, there can be a multiple faces, so it's providing inside a two D list. So I'm um, this is a list inside the list. I'm getting the one by one first face coordinates, then second face coordinates, and all these, and I'm drawing a rectangle over this. I hope everything is clear till now. Okay. so what i am doing here i can summarize till the last in the last two hour what we have done we have seen the basic introduction of image processing computer vision what is the images and you can see the different applications of image computer vision one of them is face mask detection okay uh, and one of them is social distancing also for the in the regards of the covid and you can also say the x ray ch chest x ray detection all these things you can do uh, with the help of the computer vision and then we have started the open cv we have seen the what is the google collab and in the open cv we have taken an image and in the image we have done the different operations in the image parameters and then the real time camera how to access the real time camera then capture the image in the google collab and then we have detected the face in the real time 
image captured by the camera in the Google Call app. Okay, so I hope you are getting all these things after the break. Now I am taking the 10 minutes break. After the break, we will continue and we will see the how to create a face mask detection model. Okay. And I can tell you one thing guys, if you are getting the things, you can go to our online summer training program. You can see our online summer training program. We are going to, uh, we are going to cover all these different modules. In this 45 days training program, you will get the certificate and project certification. And this is the very less amount that is the 5000. We are going to cover different fields. And in every field, we are going into the deep. This is almost mini course for the data science you can see and daily you will get the four hours and then you need to practice okay so i'm taking the 10 minutes break guys we'll see you after the 10 minutes Okay, let me start the timer.
हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक ओके इट्स अ टेन मिनट इज ओवर वी आर सम आर स्टिल ऑन द ब्रेक सेल आई स्टार्ट I'm waiting. Some people are still joining, so let me wait for two, one or two minutes. Another one and two minutes. And meanwhile, you guys, please open your Google Call app again, and we are going to start now. Okay, can you please write in the chat window? Shall we start? Okay, Lokesh, Kuggu classes, Mahipal, Janardhan Rao. Okay, guys, let me start. so we have detected the face in a video same thing i need to do in the live face detection like in the live video i just want to do in the live video okay so same thing i have to do in the live video and for the live video what i have to do i have to run infinity loop okay so here in the bottom like running a code on images taken from webcam is fairly straightforward that we have done okay we utilized the code within the google call apps code snips that has variety of useful code functions to perform various task okay that part we have done now the thing is we need to run the live webcam and even we can save the only the face part i just want to save only the face part so if you want to save only the face part then what you can do here when you are detecting the face you can simply write a one more line code that is the from the gray we are only picking x to x plus w and y to y plus h okay so this part will give you only the face image and that you can write same thing i have not written anything this is the simple snippets code okay and inside the snippets code i have included like whatever we are getting evaluate dot js take photo this will giving you a photo that is in the format of javascript just go into this inside the capture camera code and inside the capture co camera code in the bottom you can see there is a code line display js okay and data equals to evaluate js so this is basically inside this data we are having a javascript image now we need to convert this image js to image to data this function we have defined js to image we are calling this js to image function that is the upper side we already defined and 
then this uh, open cv image we need to convert to cvt color okay and it's a shape and then face cascade face cascade we are calling in the upper block we have defined here the face cascade this is the face cascade okay so face cascade and detect multi scale it will give you the faces and x comma y w h in faces you are plotting the rectangle this is the img and what i am doing from the gray scale i am picking only the face part crop so you can write the crop and you can write the other image two images so one is complete image and one is the cropped image i can run this block and i can show you the last when we are calling the take photo it's again asking for the capture image okay face cascade is not run i'm not running yes this one i need to run and again i need to call this i need to capture a image and you can see image is captured and only the face part is showing like in the last image i have seen shown you only the rectangle yes this rectangle here what i have done separately i have taken a image from the camera that is the separate image and i have saved that image as a photo dot jpg after that i have applied multi scale on all these things so this is the simple image and this time what i have done i have embedded the code inside this only inside this take photo when we are taking a photo that time only we are detecting the face okay when i'm taking a photo this time only i'm <coughs> capturing detecting the face and then i'm saving only the face part okay guys clear now same thing i need to do in the live video i'm telling you this part in the live video because in the face mask also same thing you have to do in the face mask we will train a model and we need to apply all these things in the live video that's why first i'm telling for the face detection because both things are the same when you learn with in the face detection same thing you can apply in the face mask detection and don't worry after the class i'll share this collab like link okay but just try to understand each and everything now the thing is how to take the face in the live video like in the jupiter notebook it's easy but in the collab it's a little bit dif difficult what we can do here here basically we can capture a image with the camera with the help of webcam we can capture a cam image then video stream will start and meanwhile separately we are detecting the face and final in the final result video stream and face detection we need to combine both the things okay first you need to detect the you need to run the webcam then video stream 
and then you need to separately detect the phase so what we are doing th in this stream here we are only making in the second part we are only making the uh, phase detection block only the this rectangle i am making okay and then getting the result now some necessary libraries okay and then cascade classifier and then some helper functions helper functions you can see here one function we already know javascript to image this is the function we already used it will convert javascript object into a open cv image okay but the next thing is function to convert we need to stream the video this time the rectangle we need to make a rectangle and we need to overlay the rectangle on the video stream so what we are doing here this function converts the open cv rectangle bounding box image into base 64 and that to be overlaid on the video stream so parameters what would be bb box to bytes we are converting image to base 64 if you are go to the google and you can search over this part image into base 64 what is this let me show you this site you can see code beautify and here you can put a image and upload a image and then you can see it's a base 64 let me show you and it's a base 64 is something like this these values okay so basically we are making a rectangle and rectangles base 64 is we are creating even you can reverse from the base 64 you can convert the image also this is for visualizing what is the base 64 is doing here so uh, this function is important function bb box to bytes here numpy array containing the rectangle to overlay on video stream what we are passing here we are passing only the numpy rectangle you can say a rectangle a rectangle image image that having the rectangle okay and <coughs> what we are returning we are returning base 64 image byte string so convert the array into pil image numpy array we are getting we are converting that numpy array pixels into pil image and then this io module provides the python interface to stream handling okay so here bb box into png for the return we are formatting the bb box into the png so bytes format we are having and then we are saving this into the png format and <coughs> format return string png base 64 and finally we are getting the bb box bytes this base 64 byte image you can simply say this is converting a numpy array into base 64 image simple in the simple language you can say base numpy array into a base 64 image 
So here the site I have shown you, Code Beautify, in that if you are passing some NumPy array values, it will convert that into the base64 or the reverse ones. Clear? So this function we are going to use inside to stream overlay. Now come to the videos. Running code on the webcam video is little bit more complex than the images that I already told you. We need to start a video stream using our webcam as input. To starting a video stream in the Google call in the Jupyter notebook you can easily start the uh, camera and you can run the video stream because you have only the your local machine and you are streaming over the local machine but in the call lab you are using the google machine and you are streaming over the uh, from a remote machine so here we run each frame through our program and create a overlay image that contains bounding boxes of the detection like we are having the live stream and in the stream, we are overlaying our bounding boxes. And we then overlay the bounding boxes image back into the next frame of our video stream. Okay. So here JavaScript to properly create our video stream using our webcam is as you can see here. This is the video stream function. and video frame. You can find out that will be available to the Google Colab documentation also. So video stream and video frame, these two functions we need to define. One is the video stream, okay? And when this video stream ends, this is the JavaScript. Don't bother about all these things. You don't need to write the code by yourself you can pick the code from the documentation and video frame in the video frame we are overlaying both the things now we run this video stream we are calling the video stream here start the streaming video from the webcam let me run this blog Okay, I have to run first upper two blocks. This is starting. It's a video stream. Okay, one function is BB box to bytes is not defined. I have to run BB box bytes function, then only it will create the rectangle. Right now there is no rectangle, you can see. Only it's a video streaming. Because there is one error, that is I have not run the BB box dot byte. So first I have to run BB box dot bytes. This one. Okay, and then webcam video. First, I need to stop it. Let me stop it. Again, let me run this because this time there is no error. You can see this time a rectangle is appearing, but it's a lagging behind because I, uh, what we are doing, we are not taking for every frame here. We are separately creating the rectangle and then the rectangle is basically little bit lagging behind.
okay so i cannot say this is almost real time 100% real time but little bit lagging behind but we you can say you can use the live video in the google collab basically collab is not meant for the accessing the remote uh, cameras but still we guys can use this okay <clears throat> getting the things guys can you give me a quick confirmation now i'll explain you the code what i have written here here like when this two functions you need to put simple video stream and this video frame okay next the important thing is coming here you can call the video stream and then here initializing the bounding boxes to the empty okay now we are calling the video frame here are label and b box okay and convert infinitely we are running this loop while true infinity times so js to image js reply image and then we are converting to the open cv image then same thing we are doing here cvt color cascade faces and rectangle the thing here comes the different thing is here this rectangle cv2 dot rectangle where we are creating the rectangle bb box if you plot the bb box if you print this bb box i can print this bb box this will give you only the rectangle image let me stop it okay these are the base 64 i have printed here what i have printed here b box bytes and these b box bytes are base 64 images i can copy one of them and copy and then here i'll go to the code beautify base 64 to image in the code beautify base 64 to image i just want to show you the rectangle image generate image what happened okay this is empty okay every time there was no rectangle no when face is detected then only it will show you the rectangle this may be a rectangle let me copy
yes this time you can see we are getting a rectangle my face is somewhere downside so we are i just want to tell you we are creating whatever we are detecting or whatever we just want to put the text label we need to create a separate image and then we need to overlay to the video stream okay that's the thing now come to the mask detection in the live video what i have done i have shown you the face detection in the live video same thing now you know about the images you know about the computer vision you know about the face detection you know about the collab and live video working same thing now what we are going to do we are going to create a model for the face mask detection okay and that model you can apply to the go live collab okay so i'll open a separate jupyter not yeah, google collab and now first we will understand how we will create a model you know covid 19 uh, is a greatest challenge we are facing nowadays it is even spread widely bringing to the world to the halt and the number of cases continues to the rise and the government is working to slow down its spread training mask detector <coughs> so basically in this covid 19 pandemic like nowadays like, position is more critical even in maharashtra it is the most affected state in the country and even karnataka and andhra pradesh also having the uh, more sports and nowadays uh, it's in the india it's a condition in almost most of the states we have partially locked down somewhere and you know covid is spreading it's a multiplying so it's almost it's hampered our studies and different businesses so we can do the different things here the simple simple thing that you can do is you can prepare some applications okay so now we are det preparing application detect the mask using the computer vision okay how the covid 19 impacting <clears throat> it's impacting people's job even it's impacting like global uh, employer also they are not providing the good projects and even the person who are earning their day to day uh, they are spending their money in day to day expenditures they are based on your daily income they are unable to get the food even okay so what we can do here we can do one thing is social distancing we can find out the social distancing also with the help of open cv and uh, computer vision and one thing is uh, today we are doing the mask detection and some other things we can do like for the if somebody is infected by the covid with the help of chest x ray in test x ray also we can implement the computer vision because that is also working over the image okay so technology is the solution to ensure the person is following the social distancing to ensure people are using the mask at their workplaces or in the public areas and even the thermal scanning also can be done with the help of
computer vision okay so computer vision is to the rescue and you know what we are doing in the computer vision it is a we are working we are working with the images or videos and we are getting the information from images and videos okay so now we are going to see how we can basically uh, detect the mask okay mask detection like simple data set in the mask detection we can take a data set that people having wearing the mask or not there is only the two classes okay you know how to open cv works open cv works or the images and the some practical part we have done <coughs> okay so let me show you first the mask detection process we are having a image a human being who is wearing a mask okay its image will be in the form of an array we know already image is nothing it's having some numerical values uh, range in between 0 to 255 so it having certain pixel values like 10 20 50 something like this 100 okay and what the steps we need to do first step is we need to load the image okay image we are begin with the loading the image and this image can be a single image or it can be from a video video also collection of frames so in case of video computer reads it's a frame by frame which is nothing but the images from a video frame by frame we are reading as a frame by frame okay so first step we need to do loading the data strap load image second thing is when you are loading the image what you are doing in the loading image you are reading the image first thing just i'm recapping the certain things so that we can easily develop the, this project okay load image means we need to read first image how you can read the image in the open cv we have function right im read okay second thing is we can display the image when you are reading you can check out what is the inside this image you can display the image and for the displaying what we need we need even a window or you can display inside the uh, below the collab also like in the same Uh, below the cell also so if you need a window for the window you can create a window in the jupiter okay but in collab you cannot create a window and simply you can plot the image for display okay and then after that what we can do we can resize the image resize the image like according to your need you can resize the image there is a function called the resize inside the open cv you can resize the image and if you are working with the video frame then you are reading in frames and each frame is iterated over a over a time so each frame is a separate image so when we are working with the video we are playing with the multiple images so first step is we are simply loading the image data set yes suraj you are correct suraj is written one application one thing is uh, one application using ml in the chest x ray then predict uh, whether a person is positive or negative yes we can do that same thing 
you can take this uh, some sample images for the positive person you can take the sample images for the negative person and you need to train a model and then at the end your model will tell you either it is an infected person or not infected so first step is loading the image or you can say loading the data set okay second step is you have loaded the data and inside this loading part what we are doing reading display resize all these activities we can do okay then next thing is comes to here is important thing is feature extraction this is the important thing feature extraction how to extract the feature like here in the face detection we are also done the feature extraction and that feature extraction who is done hard cascade okay so we need to detect features like what we need to detect here features like face nose okay and then you can say eyes all these features we need to extract or we need to extract a reason of interest roi we can call it reason of interest like a human being image we are having and that in that image the complete image a person is standing wearing a mask a standing person we do we are not interested in a complete person we are interested only in the face part because mask where we can find over the face so first step what we need to do we need to detect the face and then detecting after detecting the face what we can do we can detect either the nose eyes and all these things and then uh, using those features we can extract if the person is wearing face mask or not okay correct so second step is done feature extraction here in the second step i'll explain you this step very deeply because this is the main part you can say for the face mask detection face or you can say cannot say face it's a feature feature detection in the feature detection what we can do first thing is we use the cascade classifier okay cascade classifier is trained you know i already told you it is trained over the positive and negative face images and it is used roi reason of interest that is the face okay cascade classifier and it is a har cascade classifier har cascade classifier is it is machine learning based approach because they trained a model using the positive and negative images and it used to detect the object in the image okay and we can use the roi approach that is also available in the open cv we can use the this har cascade this har cascade xml file is present i have already provided you so we can use this xml file and then we can detect the features okay simple feature detection then training a classifier with label data we need to train our model this is the second step now the third step is training a classifier with the label data training you can say classifier you can say model with label data what is the label data here 
label data is basically even first is one is the mask and another one is the without mask so you can say with mask or you can say without mask with mask and without mask we will train a model with label data and label is with mask and without mask okay either a person is wearing a mask or you can say a person is not wearing a mask and this this trained model or you can say a classifier can be used further in the real time for detecting a person is wearing a mask or not So here in our example what we are going to use we are going to use the data set that i have provided you data set basically just a second here the data set having two folders train and valid inside this there is two folders with mask and without mask okay same thing in the valid also okay and respective labels like folder name is this inside this with fast mask folder we have mask images and inside this without mask folder we have without mask images okay and then here we are using this data set okay and then here we are using the concept of transfer learning we are using a pre trained model what is the transfer learning in the transfer learning what we are using we are using a pre trained model somebody have already trained a model for for certain classes we can use that model that models weight we don't need to train the model again we can change our data set means a model is prepared for some other task we can reuse that model for the second task reusing a pre trained model okay it is very popular approach in the deep learning where pre trained models are used generally like we can use the pre trained model there are lots of pre trained models you can go to the tensorflow hub tensorflow hub uh, tensorflow hub is google's product and here you can see i'm clicking over this Yes, it's opening. TensorFlow Hub is a repository of trained machine learning models. Here already lots of trained model is used, and it is a collection of lots of models. And you can go here, and you can see. there is a bird model object detection style transfer on demand food classifier and some other categories if i'll go over the object detection then you can see in the object detection there are lots of models already pre trained and we can use any model from the pre trained model like inception resnet uh, faster rcnn 
CNN, ஆர் சிஎன்என் தேர் ஆர் தி லாட்ஸ் ஆஃப் மாடல்ஸ் ஆர் அவைலபிள் திஸ் இஸ் ஒன் மாடல் தட் ஐம் ஓப்பனிங் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஒரு ஆர் சிஎன்என் ஓகே ஸோ ஹியர் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு யூஸ் a model that is the pre-trained model and that is the mobinet okay mobile net we are going to use mobile net v2 okay and this is a convolutional cnn neural network convolutional neural network okay and this model is trained we are going we are using this already pre trained model in the transfer learning what we are using we are using a pre trained model that is developed by somebody else over the some other data sets we can feed our data set okay and we can reuse this model it is a you can say it is a trained over a base data set and we re reuse the learned features or you can say we can transfer them to the our targets okay so this data set is trained over the image net data set so we are going to use this model here and then we train with our data set okay this is training a classifier with the label data and then you can use this into the video stream or you can say real time face detection you can start the video stream using the open cv and then it will detect the features and use the uh, give you the output accordingly video streaming i already told you how to do the video streaming in the video streaming <coughs> basically we will start our camera uh, in the jupiter notebook if you are using you are using your own camera and with your own pc in the google collab you are using your own camera with the remote pc and we are infinitely we start a loop and then frames are iterated over and then basically idea is we are extracting the features from that video stream and then we will display a window we will display a window and that window we can display some messages like either it is a face or we can place a rectangle we can place some messages okay so let me show you how to train a model i think concept is clear now <coughs> training the mask detector these are the steps i'm going to follow loading the data set first and then i'll visualize the images from the data set and then i'll loading the mobile net mobile net v2 model then compiling the model training the model predicting on the new unknown image save the model and evaluate the model and then same thing you can apply over the live image also clear everything can you please give me a quick confirmation so that i can see you guys are waking up and you are listening to everything what, whatever i am telling you don't sleep it's a last one hour only and we are going to develop a good application okay <coughs> guys just connected with our website we have lots of tutorials online available we have our courses over the udemy also 
you can see our courses and even there is the complete machine learning course also complete python course also you can learn that courses we will provide the coupon codes like you can learn within the 300 400 complete courses with the live projects okay and we are going to start the summer training in the may almost around the 22nd may so you can enroll for the summer training also in that we are going to cover the nlp all these latest technologies and good projects <coughs> So first thing is importing the necessary libraries. Initially the project will require the TensorFlow and we need a NumPy to get started. Okay. TensorFlow will be used to load the data set and what's happening? Okay. This TensorFlow hub I'm closing. And this is what, and I don't need this one. Okay, so TensorFlow will be used to load the data set and pre process the image to fit into a NumPy array. We will convert the image into a NumPy array to make it memory efficient and to make the processing fast. So here I am importing TensorFlow as TF and import NumPy as NP. Okay. And then I am loading the data set. For the data set I need to uh, mount my drive. Okay. And this data set I already told you having two directories where images for each class are saved. Idea is basically bring both the classes into the program with their respective images. Okay, and we will save them as training and validation. Okay. So here I'll mount the drive. Okay, I can drive, mount the drive. And there are the different ways to create the uh, face mask detection. Even or our website also, it is created by three ways. And today I'm telling you by using the transfer learning, that is the fourth way. So you can create this model. You can create this model by using the different ways. But I'm giving the idea what we need to do. We need to take the data set and then we need to develop a convolutional neural network. I need to copy this and then inside the training the mask here okay now my drive is uh, mounted and from the drive I already shown you the folder in the drive okay and here I have mask detection mobile net and inside this I have a training folder inside training I have with mask and without mask Okay. Even somewhere a data set is available that is the with train and taste folder. We can use the both. There is the no issue. Okay. So this is inside the training we have with mask and without mask. 
so we are dividing this data set into 70 and 30 ratio so tf dot keras dot preprocessing image data set from directory okay and this data directory okay and we are taking setup is subset is training okay because here the data directory path i have provided this data directory path is um, mask detection mobile net training okay let me run this block then here the keras keras is a api in the tensorflow so tf dot keras keras is inbuilt in the tensorflow 2 if you have studied tensorflow 1 in the tensorflow 1 we need to import the keras separately but in the tensorflow 2 it is inbuilt with the tensorflow so we can directly use keras from the tensorflow and i have already imported tensorflow import tensorflow stf so tf dot keras dot preprocessing and then image data set from directory which directory it is a data directory and here the data divided validation split is 30 70 ratio and then here the subset is training and then the seed is 1 to 3 you can give any value and image size i am providing here image size is height and width that is the 2 to 4 2 to 4 and batch size is 32 so 32 images in a single batch okay so i can run this block and you can see here the data set i'm having that belonging to the two classes and 3692 files for the training total 3692 files and using 258 files for the training get it i'll share the these collab uh, notebooks i'll give you in the description of the video you guys can find out these files okay because it won't possible within the four hours you can write the complete code you can learn the complete okay but i'll share the files don't worry just try to understand the things each and everything okay and then for the validation for training this part is done and for the validation same thing i'm doing for the validation okay i can run this and this subset is validation like 2585 files we used for the training and 1107 files we are using for the validation okay a image data set from the directory if you want to read the certain images from a directory then from the keras preprocessing we can use this function okay and then as a training like you can see the from the training what the class names we are having so when we are reading in inside the training it's a picking the folder names so folder names are stored inside the classes so training dot class names equals to you can say classes you can print here the classes there are the two classes with mask and without mask there can be multiple classes also okay and next thing is this training i have checked what is the training training is simple at insulin it is having certain images that have size 2 to 4 2 to 4 comma 3 now we have done one step 
what is the first step is loading the data set loading the data set now uh, we are going to do the second step that is the visualizing the image from the data set data set have images setting like this like this like we are here using matplotlib from the matplotlib import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt okay for images comma labels in training dot take from the training i'm picking only one image take will inside the take you can pass the index like i just want to pick the 10th image i just want to pick the first image so what it will do it will give the it's a, from the training folder 10th image it's a image and corresponding label like say mask image or without mask image okay guys clear everything so plt dot im show images and this image we are taking and then numpy as we need to convert the data type and then we can plot this image plt dot title title is it's a class i can run this block and you can see the output is still running basically it will show you sample data set you can see a sample image from our data set how our data set is look like this part is data set part like you have completed the data set part you can see how your data set uh, like it's a uh, two folders we are having mask and without mask and then we need to train a model that model uh, we are going to use is mobile net v2 my system is little bit slow because lots of things are running here okay it will load don't worry after this loading the mobile net v2 model mobile net v2 model is i told you it is a pre trained model and it can be used for the object detection okay we can load the network using the caras application more details we can see here like you can go here actually everything i'm doing over the google collab so everything is consuming my data so maybe that is yeah caras.io. this this is the mobile net and mobile net v2 how we can use the mobile net it is a efficient convolutional neural network for mobile vision applications okay optionally loads weight pretrained on image net i already told you this is a pretrained model over the image net data note that the data format convention used by the model is one specified data set format we can see here okay and what we need here we need the you can see here the arguments if you are loading this model you need to follow certain rules like if you are using any pretrained model you need to follow certain rules it's still run here input shape we need to put the input shape 2 to 4 2 to 4 comma 3 okay and then 
<coughs> different parameters like alpha depth multiplier dropout weights all these things we need to identify like what the weights we are going to use i told you default weights are image weight <coughs> okay default classes are 1000 but here we are using for two classes only so all these things we can use this is the image okay sample image for loading the mobile net v2 From TensorFlow. Keras. Applications import MobileNet V2, and then MobileNet V2 weights equals to ImageNet. That model we will load into the model variable. Okay, it's downloading the data. The weights pre-trained model is pre-trained on these weights. so this is the transfer learning when you are using a pre trained model now we will compile this pre trained model with our data set okay so here after modeling the mobile net v2 mobile net v2 architecture the compilation process starts where we are using the adam optimizer and sparse categorical cross entropy okay so here we are training our model so optimizer we are using adam optimizer it is for calculating the gradient descent and then the loss this is the loss function and then the matrix is accuracy this is the standard steps when you are creating a convolutional neural network and you can see the mobile model summary mobile net model summary and here you can see how many layers we are having this mobile net network having how many layers these are the layers this is the predefined you don't need to worry about this but when if you have little bit knowledge about the convolutional neural network then you can understand all these things okay then we need to train our model <coughs> face mask detection model dot fit here we need to pass the training then we need to pass the validation okay and then we need to pass the epoch it will take lots of time like these epochs will take almost like 1 hour to finish these steps so five epochs i have already run i have saved this model you can use we can use our already saved model otherwise if you want to practice over your system you can run this code and leave this for one hour it will train the model okay and then we will save our model you can give the path or any name to our model and then the save format is h5 model file format is always h5 okay guys till now everything is clear can you please tell me the confirmation so that we can go ahead and i'm getting are you active uh, you guys please share your feedback how you are getting the things like everything is clear or still you need to repeat some things what i have done i have taken a data set and then i have taken a pre trained model and i'm compiling my model okay 
and the data set folder i have already shared you inside that model i'll keep these two files training the mask detector and one more file that i have used for the live video okay so i'm not running this block because this block will take lots of time training the model i'm not doing right now train the model part you can do one time you can save your model or in the future you can use that saved model now what i can do i can predict using my model but here i need to load the model i trained the model and now i am using that my trained model i have saved two models one is the saved dot model one is the mask underscore uh, mask underscore model 5 i can use any of them one is the saved dot model i am using this one saved dot model okay this saved dot model i'm loading this pretrained model and it will take some time because this model have certain weights after loading the model i need to check out for the certain data set like it's trained properly or not guys what do you need to do after the workshop you need to complete your attendance formalities then within the two days you will get your certificate in your email okay and just connected with the goedu hub for the next upcoming workshops over the goedu hub website there is already link is available most probably next workshop is uh, on the eda data analysis exploratory data analysis this one we are going to organize within the next coming days okay so i was telling you we are loading the model and after loading the model we what we need to do we need to pick a image here i'm picking a image from our data set that is already we are having mask detection mobile net training without mask one image i am taking this one and then i'll predict what i need to do over this image i pick the image load the image with the same size here the target size is 214 214 that is the height and width okay Two one four, two one four height and width, and Keras dot preprocessing dot image dot load image, and then we need to convert this image to the array, and then we need to expand the dimensions because uh, when you are predicting over the image, we need the four parameters. First is the number of images, and then the size, and then the channels. Played here, one two two four two two four or three. so this image we have taken one image from without mask okay and we are going to do the prediction over this image so model already i have loaded i'll do the prediction for the prediction what i need to do model dot predict and then i need to pass the image array that i have pre processed the image and then this prediction i need to use the softmax function okay and from the prediction i'll got the score 
and from the score i need to pick the maximum score and then it will give you the class name and its score so it will give you the output like this with mask or without mask let me change the image it's a modern this is without mask first one is with mask okay so you can save your model and you can into the live video also one more thing what we can do we need to evaluate our model how to evaluate the model it is necessary to evaluate the model before we move to the next step what the model thing we can check the accuracy we can check is there any overfitting or underfitting like accuracy you can see here the how much accuracy this model is giving you like accuracy it's providing 99% on the training data and validation data it's providing 82% okay and what we can do we can follow the different approach to train the model to get the best result like this is very less data set i'm having very less data set it is around 3500 something images we can do the data augmentation we can choose our own layers we can create our own cnn also okay so here you can also see over the website face mask detection let me show you we will see in the live also this is the one approach this is the second approach and this is the third approach these are the three different approaches like one student completed this project using the cnn they have created their own cnn she is not using any pre trained model she created on cnn you can follow this these steps also you can create your own classifier like cnn layers different layers and then training the model and then you can do the prediction part and another part is the people also created their cnn but they used the different data sets and they used the different approaches so you can create your own cnn or you can use the way that i used for the imagenet way mobile net v2 that is trained over the image net this is the another approach like in this they provided the data augmentation also here the data augmentation also done data augmentation is artificially creating the training data from the existing data.
ओके एंड दिस इज द सेपरेट थिंग सो ऑल दीज आर द करेक्ट वे आई कैन नॉट सी दू कैन फॉलो द सिंगल वे ऑल दीज आर द करेक्ट वे यू कैन डिटेक्ट द फेस मास्क एंड यू कैन इम्प्रूव योर मॉडल बाई यूजिंग द डिफरेंट अप्रोचेस क्लियर एवरीथिंग like we can create a model and we can detect our model we can predict the images with mask or without mask this is the simple model that having only the two classes when you are learning the convolutional neural network this is the you can say the starting point of the convolutional neural network here we are using only the two classes only. okay so till now everything is clear then i can show you the tell you the code for the live also you can try for the live also okay guys one more file i'll open for the prediction detecting the mask in real time okay for the real time you don't need to do anything you just need to load the model and then you need to work over the video part only like the prediction function you need to call in the video part for the call lab it's a little bit difficult but for the jupiter notebook it's very simple okay so till now if you have any question you can ask me and any question regarding the summer training regarding the upcoming workshops and regarding the any technology you can ask me most of you guys uh, having are the college students